What's up everybody? Uh, I'm here to inform you today about one of my favorite uh, artists. Uh, he goes by the name Pretty Lights. He's more of like a hip hop electro. Uh, so we'll get straight into it. Have you ever felt like you've been struck by a lightning bolt of energy? Because that's what I felt in 2010 on New Year's Eve in Chicago at Congress Theater. Today I'm here to inform my COM 110 classmates about my favorite musician, Pretty Lights, AKA Derek Vincent Smith. I will discuss with you his background, his tours, and what makes his influence relevant today. Now I will tell you a little bit about Pretty Lights. A little background is uh, he's from Fort Collins. He's a Fort Collins native. He started making music in the early 2000s with a couple of his friends, uh, Michael Minner and Paul Brandt. Uh, they shortly split up and then he went on a solo tour in about uh, 2010. He made four albums, uh, Taking Up Your Precious Time in 2006, uh, Filling Up the City Skies in 2008, Passing Behind Your Eyes in 2009, and Color Map of the Sun in 2013. Derek went on to solo DJ sets from 2010 to 2013 and then he transitioned in pl into playing with a five uh, member band. They toured around America until about 2016 before turning into Pretty Lights Live with uh, four new members. And they only did a five tour run. In 2017, they did uh, only major festivals. His last show was a uh, 10 year anniversary in 2018 uh, all his music on his site uh, was, uh, all the music on this site was collected uh, and by written by Heather Pars. And that's a little background of Pretty Lights. Moving on to his tours. Uh, Pretty Lights solo sets for some of the best concerts I've ever been to. Uh, just the, all the lights and the towers that uh, he had on the stage. And then uh, he had a, a laser shark, which was a guy that'd be like behind him doing all the lasers. It was really cool. Uh, his analog tour, which was with uh, the five members, uh, he had a, a trumpet player, a drummer, a trombone, and a keyboardist. Uh, it really added another dimension to the, the performances. And then he had a, a live band, which added four new members. Uh, they added a turntablist, which was, his name was Chris Carnes. And he had some uh, really cool scratches and solos. It was really neat. They also had a drummer, a uh, keyboardist. And uh, they never really played the same set twice, which was always nice. Making things feel hyphy, as he would say. And uh, always full of energy. That concludes his tours and we'll move on to uh, the PL movement is what they call it. Uh, my third point is uh, how Pretty Lights is more than just a musician. Uh, Derek was one of the first people to give uh, free music. He had it uh, posted on his website. Uh, instead of selling the music, he offered it for free. According to FastCompany.com, article by Jeff Beer written in 2014, Derek said, I didn't foresee EDM music as getting as popular as it did. His downloads went from 50 to 100 a month to 10,000 in a month in just 30 days. When his first out-of-state venue came in 2008, it was sold out. And he pretty much sold out every show he ever did, when I was there at least. His method of free distribution of music had made a positive impact on his career. Derek was an independent artist as he had his own record label and with that he created other creative outlets on social media encouraging aspiring artists to post pictures with the hashtag PLPix and PL, hashtag PLFam was a way for all the fans to reconnect and we still do that to this day. Uh, a little fun fact about Derek is he's 6'9 and he's done about 614 live performances. Uh, I have just discussed my three main points, a little bit of his background, his tours, and the PL movement. Now I hope you learned today uh, why Pretty Lights is my favorite musician. He has been on a four-year hiatus, and we are all eagerly to uh, await his return.